In this video, you are going to learn six absolutely free and very useful AI tools that will make your life more colorful and productive. They will generate amazing images without complex prompt and setup, upscale your photo, turn your 2D images into 3D, remove your image's background, generate your own music, and plan your daily tasks and manage them. Without further ado, let's jump right into the first tool, Microsoft's Image Creator. To access Microsoft's Image Creator, you need to have a Microsoft account such as Outlook.com or Live.com. Microsoft's Image Creator is similar to AI image generators such as Midjourney, but without the complex prompt and setup. It is powered by OpenAI's DALI, which uses GPT-3. Okay, let's take it for a spin. For instance, let's use this prompt. A cute cat baking a cake in a sunny kitchen. Digital art. Then, Image Creator creates four images of a cat baking a cake in about 10 seconds. Don't really like this one. This is pretty good. Don't like this one as well. This is quite all right. I think this is my favorite one. If you don't know what you want to generate, you can use this button called Surprise Me. The nice thing about it is it just generates a prompt. And if you don't like this prompt, just hit Surprise Me again and it will generate a new one. Gorgeous abandoned medieval mansion in a fairy tale forest. Interesting. I like this suggestion. Let's hit Create to generate the images. You might notice the prompt structure is written in the natural language with a specific graphic style. The image creator also provides some tips on how to formulate a prompt. Your prompt should start with an adjective, followed by a noun and a verb, and finishing off with a style. Let's try another prompt. An astronaut surfing on the moon with Earth in the background photorealistic painting. Then hit create. The image quality is 1024 by 1024, which is pretty all right. But what if you need a higher resolution? For instance, when we zoom in, you can see the images is not so clear. Well, this leads us to our next amazing AI tool, AI Image Upscaler from DGB. The great thing about DGB is you don't even need to register. DGB will upscale your image by two times. Click on Image Upscaler, then just drag the file to here. You can also change the upscaling option for your image. There are four options. Each option is more suitable for certain type of images. For instance, the detailed option will make the image more crisp and try to preserve as much detail as possible. This may be a good option for photography. Balanced and fine tuning, you get a really detailed result, which is good for photography and poster types of designs. Cartoon or drawing is more for cartoon type of image. As my image is more of a poster type, let's try the balanced. This will send the job in a queue. You can track the progress in my files. This will usually take few minutes to a few dozens of minutes, depending on the queue. For this instance, it will take about two minutes as the queue is quite short. I think the image should be ready. Let's download it. This is the image before upscaling and this is the image after upscaling. As you can see, the upscaled image is much more crisp than the one before upscaling. You can see the shape of the hands is kind of weird. This is not caused by the upscaling of the DGB. It is because of the Microsoft image. Creator is not perfect yet. Area for improvement for Microsoft or OpenAI. What if I want to remove the background of this image? DGB also has a tool to do that. Click on the AI background remover, then upload the file. Then click remove background. I think the file is ready. Let's look at it. Yes, the background is removed, but this portion of the image is also removed. I need to restore it back. Unfortunately, you are not able to edit the image in DGB. This leads us to a more powerful background remover, remove.bg. You can just drop a file here. As you can see, part of the face is also removed, but we can put it back, click on edit, then click on erase or restore tab. Then click on restore. As the brush size is too big, let's adjust it to a smaller one. Then point the brush at where you want to restore. Yay, you can see it is restored. This is great, isn't it? Then click on the background tab to see the final result. Yes, this is what I want. What if you want to make this a 3D image? Yes, there is another tool called Layer Picks can do that. LayerPix Converter can instantly convert 2D images into beautiful 3D animation. Just click Upload to drop your image to the window and I'll choose this image I created in Image Creator just now. Let it process and right away it's added the animation to the image. On the left is what you can adjust the settings to how much effect you want to insert into the actual image. Let's start with Animation Length. Let's change it to one second. As you can see the movement is much faster now. If I change it to six seconds, it's much slower. 
I think four seconds is good. Now we can go into animation style. Let's try horizontal. As you can see, the image now is moving horizontally. If I can change it to vertical, the image is moving vertically. So I like perspective better. Next, you can increase or decrease the amount of motion. When I change it to less, you will notice the animation moves only a little bit. As this is a surfing image, I like to move fast. So let's change it to more. Inside focus point, change the focus point to close. The front will move less, the rear will move more. When I change it to far, you will notice that the earth is not moving as much as close. Layerpix also has edge dilation. Edge dilation is a technique that makes the edges of objects in an image appear thicker or larger. Let's change the setting from 0 to 1.5. You can see the edge of the surfing board is thicker now. And then you have advanced filters here. Think of the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis in 3D worlds. If I adjust the amplitude x to the highest value, you will see bigger movement along the x-axis. If I increase the amplitude y, you will notice more movement along y-axis, and you could do that same with z-axis. And you also have depth map. But this feature is too complex for most of the users, so I will skip this. To save your animation, just click share. You can save the animation as a GIF, MP4, even a Facebook 3D photo. I will save this as MP4. So this is the 3D animation I just created, and I must say I really like it. Okay, we have covered many image processing tools. Now let's shift our focus to music. In fact, Meta has recently released an open source AI music generation model, MusicGen, that is available for free on Hugging Face. Let me play you a sample, 90s light rock love song with guitar. As there are many people experimenting this, so it may take up to a few minutes to generate your music. my opinion, it sounds better than the many models such as Refusion. Let's try another one and see what we get. 70s rock song with electric guitar like Hotel California. As this model is open source, so it can be found on GitHub. You can also install it locally, but requires at least 16 gigabytes of GPU memory. The AI tools your talking sound really fun, but I just don't have time to play with them. No worry, I got a solution for you. There's an AI tool called Goblin that can help you to manage your life more effectively. So, the first tool I want to introduce is Call Magic To Do. Just enter your to-dos and tasks for the day or week here. Let's say if you want to make a YouTube video for this week, it will create a task. Then click the breakdown item. Magic To Do lists all the subtasks for you such as brainstorm ideas for the video, outline the content or script, gather any necessary materials or equipment, set up a recording space or location, so on and so forth. After you finish a task, you can put a check here and it will cross the task for you. You can also add a subtask if needed. For instance, I can add meeting with photo editor and move the task to here. You'll notice a chili icon. More chilies mean you will have more detailed subtasks. Let's try another task cooking steak for dinner. Magic To Do generates all the tasks such as select the steak, season the steak, preheat the grill, place the steak on the grill, so on and so forth. Nice. Next, let's try the compiler tool. Just type your thoughts and what you want to accomplish for the day or week and let compiler organize the task for you. Let's take an example. Practice yoga for 60 minutes on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday on 6 p.m. Jogging for 45 minutes on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday in the morning at 7 a.m., make a YouTube video and buy grocery, then click Turn into Task. The compiler tool will break down your input into specific to-dos. Here's what it generates. You can also export this to Magic To Do. As you can see, all the tasks are in the Magic To Do now. Then you can further ask Magic To Do to create subtasks for you. So, Goblin tools can assist you plan your tasks and manage them, and make you more efficient. I hope you like the AI tools I have presented to you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to help me reach border audience and see you in the next one.